Hi everyone, welcome back to Lair Academy. It's Mickey again, and in this video, I wanted to talk about the config function within Laravel. This is just going to be a small tidbit. In a previous lesson, we talked about the env function, but this time we're just going to talk about the config itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load up a project here. I have a default project. It's a simple Laravel install, and I really haven't done too much. The only thing I have changed is on the welcome blade, I'm now referring to this new function called config. Now this function has been in Laravel for quite some time, but I just wanna make sure that everyone understands it and why they should be using it. So just to give a little bit of a background on it, the config function is gonna go into the config directory and then whatever we supply here, it's gonna look up those values. So for the title, it's supplying app dot name so we're going to go into the app.php and then we'll find the name variable and just like when we covered the env function the env is actually getting this information from our env file so why do we want to use config instead of env well the main reason why we want to use config is when we cache our configuration or our env file PHP is going to turn all of this text into an array to make it a lot more quicker. So let me actually load up our console and we could run PHP artisan to see all of our different items here. And what we're going to be looking for here at the top is config cache. And it says creates a cache file for faster configuration loading. So let's do that. We'll say PHP artisan config cache. Now, once that's done, if we actually look inside Bootstrap cache, we have these different files here. If we look in services, you can see that we have all our services here. If we look in packages, these are all the different packages that Laravel has automatically detected that we have installed. And then finally, if you look at the config file, we have this gigantic array, which is actually our entire config. So all of these are actually from the config directory. Now, what that does mean is if we have our configuration cached and we change something like the app name to Lair Academy, once we save this and we come back to our website, if we refresh, it's not going to work. And that's because our configuration is actually cached. So anytime that we update our configuration, we want to make sure that we run the artisan command, either php artisan config clear, or we could get away with config cache, which would clear the cache and then cache it again. Now that that's done, if we hit F5 or we refresh, you can see that the items have been updated. Now say we wanted to create a new configuration file. There's a bunch of different reasons why we might, why we might want to create one, but let's pretend that we are dealing with some third party service and we have some keys that we want to store. So in the config file, or sorry, the config directory, I'll right click and say new file. And this is where I can give it the name of the file itself. So I'm going to save this file as let's pretend that the service is called cats. So we'll say cats.php. Now in here, we're just going to return a basic array. And in this array, it's going to be a it's going to be an associated array, so key value pair. So we can say cats and let's say age, and the age of our cat is going to be, let's say two. And then we could say name, and we could split this out even further. We could say the cat has a first name, and the first name is Jade, and then the last name is just going to be cat. Now we could also, just like before in the other config files, we could have some information in our env. So we could say cat age. Let's actually make this uh, five. So in here, we'll have to come in and we'll take the cat.php and change the age to the env function. So it will refer to our environment variables. Now that we're done this, how do we access this? Well, we'll go back to our welcome file and let's just do it right underneath the app name. We'll just have another div in there. So we'll say cat, cat name. And in here we need the config and our file that we're looking, that we are going to look for is cats. And what do we want? We want the name. Now also we'll have to dig one more deeper because we want the first name. And then we also want 
the last name. So we'll have that, the space, and last name. And then finally, last but not least, we'll say cat age, and config cats age. Now with that done, remember we have our configuration cache. So let's actually refresh right now. You can see that we don't have any information there. So that means that I'll have to come back in here and do PHP arson. Let's do config clear. And now when we refresh, you can see that we have that information there. It's probably not the best text. It might be a little hard to read, so I'm selecting it for you. So just like before, we can come into our IDE and we can change the ENV file to update this value automatically. And we're able to get away with that because it's not cached. So just remember when we don't cache the configuration, we're able to edit our ENV and see it automatically. However, there is going to be a speed reduction because Laravel has to load this entire file and then figure out which variable we are referring to and then return that information. Whereas if we cache it, the array is already done for us, which means that inside our packages here, or sorry, inside our config, we have all of this here. So if we actually look up uh, cat, we should be able to find the cats and then the age of 10 and then the name that we put in there. Now, just another thing to remember, if we do have our configuration cached, if we change the age of the cat in the env file, that's not going to be reflective on the website because our variables are cached. I would like to thank you all for the continued support. Please leave a like or a comment and don't forget to subscribe on YouTube. You can also check out my Patreon page where you'll gain instant access to video tutorials as they come out. You'll also get to vote on what topics to cover. Thanks again.